Right, this is a bit of a weird video, but this is going to be the last time the, well, the workshop as you know it is going to be the workshop because we are actually having to uh, move out of this barn now just due to other developments on the farm. Now we've been down here for years, um, it used to be a calving shed which most people probably didn't know and we basically took over it, widened the doorway here, put the pit in, put the dyno in and it's, it's all a bit of a bodge up but it's been pretty epic over the years and we've built all these random things that we've done in here but this will be pretty much the last time we'll be in here so just making a video before we start ripping everything out but it has been there's been some good times over the years in here and a few heartbreaking ones yep <laughs> As you can see, it isn't a very big shed. I think it's fair to say we have made the most of what what we've had here. Yeah, we are, and I sadly having to move to a bit of a temporary location for the time being, which is even smaller. So we are condensing a lot of stuff for a minute, and the rest will just get put into storage in another shed. Well, what's on everyone? Uh, welcome back to the channel. It's been quite a while, I think about five years since we actually put a video up on this channel, other than the uh, sporadic uploads over the last few years from like the Euro trip. Um, I think I did a few other random videos, but it's been pretty much five years since I actually did anything on YouTube really. So I randomly felt like picking the camera up. So you probably remember all my old content was always filmed in our sort of workshop that you would be used to seeing which is obviously not the shed that you're looking at now. Um, obviously, most of our YouTube content is based around my own projects, or I should say our projects, me and my friends. Still still got all of these projects. Well, most of them. They're all still lurking. I'm sure you're all very familiar with the little small barn we used to have down the bottom, which we somehow managed to shoehorn in the dyno and a pit, and pretty much is where all of the projects up till now have taken place. Since then, I've been working out of, sort of various sheds on the farm, but I've been very, very limited on space. So I haven't really had the time or the space to be working on my own projects. But I still have them. Um, most of them are still parked up in the sheds. Um, to be fair, most of my friends still have the same cars as well. So I'm sure all of these projects will reappear, which is kind of why I'm making this video, really, because obviously it's been five years since we've posted anything. So about 12 months ago, I commandeered this shed. Obviously, it wasn't being used as a workshop before. So it's been quite a lot of effort to get it to the point you see now. But we're, we're getting there now. We've got so much more room than we've ever, ever, ever had. It's just amazing. So we've got room for multiple things to be in it once and still have room to get around them. So obviously, this means, hopefully, I can get back to working on some of the things I sort of want to do. Trouble is, working on these sorts of projects, you... You know, you bring it in, tear the engine out, and then you get busy with something else. Well, then you've got this in the way, and you can't move it because there's no engine in it. And that can sit there for weeks on end. Well, where I've been working up till now, there isn't, there's only been room for sort of one car. So you can't have projects torn down in a million pieces and left apart for long periods of time because then you can't get on with anything else. Um, which is, like I said before, really the reason why these videos just sadly ground to a complete halt because I quite literally haven't been able to work on stuff that would be interesting to film. And um, obviously working on other people's cars is not particularly interesting, nor, nor really what my channel is all about. So here we are in a new shed, just really posting to see whether or not people will be interested in sort of making some more regular YouTube content again. Um, I have got a few projects of my own that I'd like to get involved with soon, and I thought it might be a prime opportunity to grab a camera and sort of start making some 
start making some videos again. So as you remember in my old workshop, we had the dyno at the back there, which God only knows how we somehow shoehorned into that old shed. One of the next projects is to try and get this up and running again. Up in this shed, obviously, is a fair bit of work to do because there are now two. Um, so about four years ago, I think it was probably about a year after we moved up that workshop, I had the opportunity to buy another identical dyno as the one that I've got, obviously bare, in similar state to what that one was when I bought it, absolutely hanging. Um, but that's obviously the most affordable way of getting hold of these things. So that's also been sat down in the shed. Um, it's obviously now looking very worse for wear, but it's all still there. Everything we need is there. So obviously the plan here being that if we have two, we can do four wheel drive, front or rear drive, all in the same place and cater for sort of many more projects, which is the idea. So this is one of the things that has maybe encouraged me to pick the camera up because I feel like this is a project that could be interesting. Uh, obviously we did videos on the previous two dynos. So we'll be basically updating this dyno, framing it in, um, obviously cleaning it all up, rebuilding it, just the same as we've done with the other one. And then obviously building a, building all the framework and everything for the four-wheel drive side of things. Obviously the rear bed needs to be able to move forward and back. So that's one project we've got going on. Those of you that watched the Eurotrip videos, I think that was three years ago, because obviously COVID's also happened between now and when the last videos were out. So that trip we went on three years ago was actually the last trip we went on. Um, and that was quite literally the last time that car was used. It's been pretty much parked up ever since. Um, but with all this newfound space and room, I have been a little bit inspired. So you can see there's a couple of engines on the floor here in various states of strip. So this is a little project I've got going on, which is probably eventually going to entail the engine coming out of that green machine. Um, and then a bit of a rebuild going on, various reasons. But again, that could be potentially another little series we could do if people would be interested in, in that. I imagine it could escalate fairly epically. Um, again, this has been brought on by the fact that really the whole reason development of the green machine stopped because obviously we didn't have that anymore. So really ever since we lost the dyno, nothing has happened to that car. We drove it three and a half thousand miles around Europe, parked it up, and it's in exactly the same state of tune right now as it was five years ago when you saw that last, the last video of getting it up and running. So we've never really pushed it very hard. It's pretty much still sat on the limit of the stock injectors, which is going to be the next point forwards. So this is just a little project that's probably going to escalate like all projects that, again, could be quite interesting. So obviously the, the idea being if we can sort this little project out and sort that fairly large project out, then the two kind of come together um, and the DT can be somewhat back in action again and we can start playing with that, which is something I've been really looking forward to for quite a long time. So it'll be good to get that running again and actually put some load on it and see what see what it'll do because it was all built for doing a lot more than it is at the moment. And it's kind of sad that it's just sat for this long. So like I said earlier, I'm completely out the routine of doing this, but hopefully a few people are still watching. I'm sure my videos have been lost very deep somewhere into the depths of the, uh, the YouTube algorithms these days due to very, very low views and obviously hardly any uploads. I guess another thing is if there's any particular projects that you've remembered from the past or we never finished because I've kind of lost track of what we uh, what we were last videoing really towards the end of the videos. So if there's anything you'd like us to go back to and have a look at, then just leave it again. Leave it in the comment down below. It might just encourage me to maybe pick the camera up a bit more often and, and sort of try and try and get something a bit more regular going on again. Cheers, guys.